All right, so recently I was on Eleven Labs and made a voice that actually fooled my wife. But that was a basic voice. Today, I'm going to train an even better AI voice. So what I'm gonna do is, I am going to read some scripts in different types of voices. We're gonna put all these together and generate, hopefully, a better voice. Here we go. Hi, I'm Brooks Conkle, or rather, my professional AI-generated voice clone. We start by logging into 11labs.io, going to voices, clicking on add a new voice, and selecting professional voice clone. Next, you'll see an instructional guide with a lot of useful information about the AI training process. I recommend reading it carefully. Accept the terms of service and click start. In the next window, we'll begin by naming our professional voice clone and selecting the language it will be configured in. The next step is the most important. To train our voice clone, we need to provide it with audio samples of our voice. These samples should be recorded in the final tone and quality we want our clone to maintain whenever we use it to generate audio. So it's crucial to record them with a good microphone in a properly acoustically treated room, or if that's not possible, in a quiet space with as little ambient noise and bare walls as possible. Eleven Labs requires at least 30 minutes of audio to train a worthwhile clone. For this tutorial, I recorded a total of 40 minutes of audio using Audacity, but you can use any program you prefer as long as you record in WAV format and maintain a sample rate of 48,000 Hertz. I record in 32-bit float, but 24-bit also works fine. Once we have the recorded audio, we split it into files of no more than 30 minutes each and export them into a folder. Next, we upload these files to the designated box in the 11 Labs window. If you're not completely satisfied with your audio quality, you can click on Remove Background Noise from Audio Samples. Once the samples are uploaded, we proceed to label our voice clone for easy identification. We assign it a description and we're ready to start training our professional voice clone. Once Eleven Labs has completed the AI training, it will ask us to verify that we own the voice by reading a short text displayed on the screen. Congratulations, your voice clone is verified and ready to go. Now, let's open the text-to-speech generation interface for our professional voice clone by clicking on Use. The generation window might seem overwhelming at first, but it's simpler than it looks. In this box here, we'll type the text we want to convert into audio. I recommend entering one sentence at a time as inputting entire paragraphs can confuse the AI and cause it to read the text with incorrect inflections. The model I use is 11 Multilingual V2. There are many models available, each suited for different needs, but this one sounds the most natural to me. These three sliders here determine the tone of our generated audio. The first setting, stability, controls how monotone the speech is. I usually lower it to 40% to make it sound less robotic. The second setting, similarity, adjusts the clarity in how closely the generated voice matches the original samples. However, setting it too high can introduce artifacts and distort the final result. I typically leave it at 70%, but experiment to find your ideal balance. The third setting, style exaggeration, determines how many speech quirks and natural imperfections the AI introduces into the generation. This is useful for making speech sound more natural, but if you set it too high, it will add these quirks excessively, making it sound strange. Generate the same sentence multiple times until you're happy with the overall settings. Hi, my name is Brooks. Then download the generated audio by clicking here. Once you've found the right balance, start generating the rest of your script until you complete your project. And there you have it, an extremely realistic professional voice clone that you can use for your audiovisual projects. To improve the quality of your AI-generated audio, I recommend reading Eleven Lab's prompting guide, which I've linked in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. You can also subscribe to my newsletter, where I share information about all the tools I'm testing or using in my daily life as a full-time side hustler. See you in the next video.